Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to STW Sports and today I'm joined by Brentford fan Dan McGee. Well Dan, tomorrow is the day Brentford will play Premier League football at last and they start with a home match against Arsenal. Firstly, how excited are you going into it? I think this is a very exciting, uh, very exciting time, not just for myself, but for all Brentford fans. Like we were just discussing a moment ago, this is sort of like a homecoming. Um, I think being in the Premier League is exciting enough, but to witness our stadium at a full capacity, um, it's, it's, it's more than excitement. I mean, obviously, you know, I spoke to you last season after the playoff finally, you said it doesn't feel real that we're going to be playing Premier League football. And, you know, does it feel real now? And the fact on the opening day, you're coming up against a Premier League historic giant like Arsenal. Um, I, I, I think it, it didn't, I, I couldn't recall a time where it did sink in officially, but I think it will make, it will feel more real when we, when we're playing tomorrow and up against those uh, big teams like Arsenal. Um, you know, I, I, it doesn't feel real as of yet, but I think, you know, tomorrow it, it will feel more real. I mean, obviously, Thomas Frank, you know, has done a fantastic job at you guys in the last few seasons. Now the question is going to be asked, can he do it in the Premier League? What, what are your thoughts on that, obviously, with Frank? Obviously, great manager, but do you think he will be able to cope with Premier League football? Personally, I think yes. Um, I think he, he deserves the job. Um, first and foremost, um, I think the way he's rotated, especially in the cup games last year where we came up against uh, four or five Premier League teams, he rotated that squad so well. And I'm, I'm sure you can agree with me here. Uh, in the Premier League, you really need to rotate your squad and you need that squad uh, squad depth. Um, I, I, I think he's got to be one of the best managers if not the best in my in in, in my in my lifetime being a Brentford fan, um, I, I he deserves it. He deserves it. He's he's been the man to take us up. He's a very very likable man, um, and I'm sure he I'm sure his tactical, I'm sure, yeah, I, I I think he can do it. In terms of the transfer window, we've seen a few in goings and outgoings. Uh, what have been your thoughts on the Brentford final overall? Like, how do you assess it? Well, I'm quite happy that we've not necessarily sold players I mean we, we've had players that have their contract has run out um, for example Emiliano Marcondes he's now gone to Bournemouth he's, he's doing brilliant there scored against Chelsea um, he scored on he scored last weekend against West Brom um, Luke Daniel is now signing for Middlesbrough um, <clears throat> um, and obviously Henrik Dalsgaard going to our sister club FC Michelin um, I think I think we need to fill those roles that we've lost, especially a wing back. Um, I know there's talks of us looking at a few potential right backs, wing backs, sorry. Um, I've been very happy with the recruitment. I mean, I'm <laughs> being a Brentford fan, I'm always going to be happy with the recruitment. We always find, it seems to find little gems in the transfer market that nobody seems to. Um, I think we've made a total of four, four or five signings now. Um and I think, yeah, yeah, I think they're going to make a great impact. One of, one of our signings, Frank Onyeka, um, he scored uh, the other day as well. I, th I think they're going to be an asset to our club and a, and a great addition to our team. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Ivan Tony scored 32 goals in the league last season in the championship. But you did stress on the podcast one episode that you're not a one-man team. team. And I, think I think that, that was very, very much proven in the playoffs, playoffs of course. course. He didn't, didn't really, really play, play too, too much, much of a part, part in the uh, semi-final when he went against Bournemouth and, and the final case scored, scored a couple of goals, goals but, but it was it very, very much team performance. performance. Are you, Are you expecting, expecting that in the, in the Premier, Premier League, League? Obviously, with, with Tony, Tony being the main, main source of goals. goals. Like, like, do, you do you think, think that, that will work in the Premier League, League as well? well? Well, I'll go back to that. I think it was imperative during the league that, you know, without his goals, we wouldn't have got to anywhere where we would have. Um, so you can't. I, I, I will never knock him for that. But I, I still stick by what I said. We are not a one-man team, and if we go into the Premier League expecting just Tony to score with the goals, we're going to go straight back down to the Championship. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I have I have high expectations. I have realistic expectations. Um, I see a lot of people. You know, they're adding adding him to the, the fantasy football team. Um, they really think he's going to smash it. I really do hope so, but I don't want to rely on him being the main source of goals because we should have goals um, 
from you know all players in the team. Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. And, and um, obviously, obviously going, going into the game, game against Arsenal, Arsenal um, you know, know, it's a massive, massive game. game. If, if Brentford, Brentford could win that game, game Open Day Davis season in front of what would be a great atmosphere. atmosphere. How, How much confidence would that, that give going forward, forward you think? <laughs> I think it's going to be a massive boost of confidence, but I definitely think throughout the pre-season, we've played some big teams. We got a draw against uh, Manchester United away, which was a thrilling game to watch. Um, we, we, you know, we, we uh, uh, narrowly defeated by West Ham. That's a great team as well. Um, and against Valencia as well. We've come up against top, top teams. And I think if, if any Brentford fan has watched any of those they will have great confidence going into this season. But if we even take a draw, um, obviously I'd like a win. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I don't want to win. Um, I've, I think that would be a boost of massive confidence for us um, going top of the league on the first game of the, day of the season. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and, and obviously, obviously uh, two teams, teams, teams to play. play. Which, Which team, team are you most excited, excited to come up against this season, season out of interest? interest? Well, I think there's a few, in all fairness. I think if I were to pick one, it would be Liverpool because Liverpool are such giants in the Premier League. Um, I, I love the way that their club is set up. I love the way that they play their football. I, I, I always love to do Anfield away. But there's so many away games that I do want to do simply because of the atmosphere. But you shouldn't... I, I won't rule out any team because every, te every team in that league deserves to be there. And it's just exciting going into a league, seeing the elite. Yeah, yeah definitely. I think, like, like you say, say there's, there's so many teams, teams to trip look forward to this season, season Brentford. Brentford and, and, uh, you, know, you know, obviously, obviously competing with these teams can be very important, important as well. well. You, you certainly got style of football with that. that. Um, um, obviously, obviously, going, going into, into uh, you know, you know, the new season, season as well, well in, in terms, terms of, you know, the way, the way you play, do you, do you think, think that will serve you well in the division? Lead through last season, season with kind of a unique style, style of football, it can work. work. And, and do you feel like Brent Brentford are coming, coming up really as an unknown team? team? Well, I think, Frank, I, I was reading an article yesterday, I think it was a, a, a pre-match press conference, um, that Thomas Frank was talking on this. We want to carry on. Um, being, being an offensive team, uh, you know, we're not, we're not scared. We're not scared to play attacking football. And I think we should carry on doing the same. But I know if I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say we're going to win, uh, we're going to win, uh, what is it? I think it's 40 games, isn't it? No, 38. Uh, 38. I'm not going to sit here and say we're going to win 20 of them. You know, I know there's going to be, I know there's going to be times where we're going to need, 10 men back in the box to try and hold on to a one all draw at 90 minutes. Um, yeah, no, I, I still think our, our style of football is, is a very attractive way of football. Um, I, people have said that for years now and I think will be a great addition to the Premier League. Yeah, yeah and, and uh, what, what score, score prediction leads for tomorrow, tomorrow against, against Arsenal? Arsenal? <laughs> Do you want my realistic or do you want me being a Brentford fan prediction? Make it <laughs> both if you like. like. Well, I, I'd love, what I'd love is a 2-1 uh, victory. But realistically, I'm going for one all. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fair, fair enough. enough. Finally, Finally uh, as, as of this, this moment, moment in time, time where, where do you think Brentford will finish, finish in the Premier League this season? season? Well, uh, I don't want to be too delirious here, but I do think we will do what Leeds done last season. Um, I think we are going to go up and surprise a few teams. I, I, like I said, I don't want to sound too delirious, but I don't think we were, we were ready when we went up to the Premier League. It's not like we weren't ready at all. We've been ready for about three, four seasons now. So I don't, I, I, well, I hope we don't go straight back down. I don't think we will. Um, I'd love a top 10 finish because that would really boost our confidence, boost the lads' confidence. Um 13th, I'm going for. Yeah, yeah brilliant. Well, that's, well, that's all we've got, got time for. Thank, thank you very, very much. much. And good, good luck, luck to Brentford tomorrow, tomorrow and, and in the upcoming season. season. Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you for having me.